we all have a passion in life but we don't always follow our passions maybe we don't have the courage or we are afraid maybe our circumstances don't allow us i believe we should pursue our passions even if the most likely outcome is failure in life we only regret the chances we didn't take my name is rajesh burla becoming a wildlife photographer had been my dream for a long time 3 years back i had the courage to follow my dream by going on a photographic adventure to south africa with no prior experience in africa it was a daunting task will i reach my goal watch till the end to find out my first sighting was this leopard at dusk i only had a few seconds to get the composition right unfortunately for me another car approached it and the leopard disappeared into the long grass an opportunity lost a little later i came across a pride of lions it was an incredible opportunity to capture the lions up close though i did manage to capture a few images i failed to get my compositions right next day i came across this lone hyena walking straight towards my car it was an incredible opportunity to capture the hyena up close however my entry level camera misfocused i missed my chance again wildlife photography is never easy my luck did not change in the next few days the opportunities were few and far between and when i did get the opportunity i kept missing my chances half way into the trip i did not have a single strong image let alone the 50 i hoped for the following day my luck changed for the better i spotted two male lions hiding in the grass waiting to ambush the giraffes unfortunately for the lions they were spotted by the giraffes who made a quick escape one of the lions still has his eyes locked on the giraffes while the other glanced at me and i managed to capture the moment at last an image i am proud of next day morning i came across this huge male lion battle scarred and fearless he walked as if he owned the place i could scarcely believe my luck this is the strongest image i ever captured but i only had this sighting for a brief moment the other car soon caught up with me and it was impossible to capture images without the cars in the background in the late morning heat in south kruger i captured this wildy beast resting under the shade of a tree it was completely at ease with my presence allowing me to get close i wanted to capture the soul of this creature along with the magnificent landscape it inhabits wildy beasts are such unappreciated animals in the park it was a privilege to observe it at close quarters a couple of days later i drove for miles in kruger at the first light of the day in search of lions without any luck then all of a sudden i saw these two hyenas strolling on the road heading straight towards my car I knew it would make a great composition. I stopped the car and I waited for the hyenas to approach my car. As they approached, the first car of the day from the other direction can be seen in the background at a distance, making this composition unique. I spotted this rhino along with another rhino and a calf. Peaceful and relaxed. spending time with this gentle giant with no one else around was a remarkable experience 
I came across this baboon troop at midday in the middle of the road. Baboons are bold and they are not wary of cars, enabling me to get close images. The next day, I came across this hyena clan. Hyenas are curious and bold, resulting in some unique images. I must admit, elephants are the only animals in the park I am wary of. They are enormous and intimidating, and they are aware of that. However, I still managed to get close to them a couple of times. But my camera failed me both the times. It's fair to say I failed to capture any extraordinary images of elephants. As I reached the end of my three-week trip, I was jaded, tired and burnt out. Wildlife photography is demanding, both physically and psychologically. As I reached the end of my trip, I took it a little easy on myself and started to enjoy the trip a little bit. I spotted this leopard at sunset, took a few images and headed to the camp. After a few days, when I looked at this image, initially I only saw the beauty of it. However, upon close observation, I noticed the impala carcass and its blood stains on the tree trunk. This is a glimpse into the beastly nature of this beautiful cat. Giraffes are special animals. They are shy, tall and photogenic. This does not make them any easier to photograph. After three weeks of trying, I was extremely lucky to capture these three images in a near perfect composition. There are some images that may never be replicated. I believe this is one of them. My three weeks in Kruger had come to an end. It is time to head home. Did I manage to capture the 50 extraordinary images? No, not the 50 I hoped for, but only five images that captured my imagination. I had been too ambitious with my aim and I found a few things working against me. The African sun was hot and relentless. My entry-level cameras failed when it mattered. And ultimately, my lack of experience meant that I failed in my mission. If you are interested in the limited edition prints of any of the images, or if you are interested in joining me in my next African safari, message me on my Instagram link below. My mission has failed, but my journey continues. Next time, I'll try my luck in the desert. Join me as I journey through one of the last great wildernesses on the planet, Kalahari. Please subscribe to my channel to follow my journey in Kalahari.